Hey Vera City, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Vermore. I'm back with another reaction video. Today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to another one, another video, and this is I tried to warn you, Douglas Murray leaves Muslim speechless with facts. Okay, so what exactly is going on here? Guys, I can't wait to get into the video. But before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the first time. If you are new to the channel, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. Listen to that you love. Why not join Vera TT? If you subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys. Let's get started. But we need to be honest about it. We need to be frank about it and we cannot avoid things just because they are unpleasant. And if there were one thing I would wish Muslims in Europe could learn today, as fast as possible, it would be this. Douglas Murray has never been one to shy away from hard topics. In this video, he addresses the often neglected topic of Islamic integration in the West. The relationship between Islam, Europe, and the broader challenges of immigration and integration. Douglas Murray has been warning us of mass immigration and the integration of Muslims in the West. Wow. Douglas Murray did not hold back. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Tariq says that Europeans associate Islam with violence. There is some truth in that. There is also a very obvious reason for that, which is that Islam is associated with violence. It was not Buddhists who flew planes into the Twin Towers. It was not Hindus or Jews that blew up the London Underground and buses a few years ago. And that simple fact has to be acknowledged if you're even going to start a dialogue. Now, the, what is happening, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a pantomime. I'd uh, argue that Europe has done not too badly, considering the circumstances. In the middle of the last century, there was, or there was an almost negligible Muslim presence in Europe. At the turn of the 21st, in Western Europe alone, there were 15 to 17 million Muslims. That's a very fast migration, ladies and gentlemen, one of the fastest in human history. And no society would find it easy to deal with that kind of migration. As it happens, uh, European societies, Western European societies, have, I think, dealt with this much better than some would. Certainly, Muslims coming to live in Britain and in Western Europe enjoy more rights and better rights among them, freedom of worship, than they do in any Islamic country in the earth here today. We do have a problem. We have a problem when the failures of Islam throughout the world, the failures of all Islamic societies, come here into Britain. Their intolerance of freedom of conscience, their intolerance of apostates, their intolerance of freedom of expression and freedom uh, of speech. Their intolerance of minorities, other religious minorities, sexual minorities, their intolerance of gays, their dislike and distrust of half of the population, women, and many, many other things. And the call, what's more, and the call, what's more, for a parallel legal system within Britain and European societies. This is monstrous. No other group behaves like this, asks for parallel laws. This is a fundamental problem, and it's one we're going to have to deal with. It's a problem between a society Western Europe that believes that laws are based on reason and Islam that believes that they are based on revelation. Between these two ideas, I'm not sure there is very much compromise for Europe. It is not Europe that has let down its Muslims, but the Muslims of Europe that have let down wow. Europe. This is not solely something which we have to say we can never reconcile. Of course we can reconcile this, but we need to be honest about it. We need to be frank about it, and we cannot avoid things just because they are unpleasant. And if there were one thing I would wish Muslims in Europe could learn today, as fast as possible, it would be this, that you have no right in this society not to be offended. You have no right to say that because you don't like something, you can commit violence or you would like something to be stopped or censored. You have no right to have more hate laws or hate crime laws or hate speech laws just to defend Islam. You have to realize, the Muslims of Europe have to realize, that a society in which even your deepest feelings can be trodden upon is the only society worth living in. And the sooner we can learn that, the sooner that Islam can learn that within Europe, the better. It is not Europe that has failed its Muslims. It is Islam that has failed Europe. I'd argue Islam has failed its Muslims. Wow. Thank you. Douglas Murray's assertion that Islamic extremism is a problem imported hmm. into Europe, stemming directly from the religion's radical elements, necessitates a deeper exploration. Murray's viewpoint 
challenges us to differentiate between the peaceful majority of Muslims and the actions of a radicalized minority. This distinction is crucial in crafting effective counterterrorism strategies that do not alienate the broader Muslim community, yet are robust enough to address the threat of extremism. Statistical insights shed light on the complex nature of this issue, with several attacks and thwarted plots reported annually. However, these actions are perpetrated by a very small fraction of the Muslim population in Europe. This data underscores Murray's point about the need for a nuanced understanding of Islamic extremism, recognizing it as an ideological aberration rather than a reflection of Islam as a whole. Experts like Mayajid Nawaz, a former Islamist turned counter-extremism activist, echo Murray's sentiments. Nawaz advocates for a liberal reform within Islam and the importance of confronting and discrediting extremist ideologies. His work emphasizes the role of ideological narratives in radicalization processes and the necessity of counter-narratives to challenge and replace them. By engaging with moderate Muslim voices and reformers, Europe can find allies within the Muslim community to combat extremism effectively. Oh, wow. Wow, amazing. I tried to warn you. Douglas Murray leaves Muslims speechless with facts. Amazing. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to say at this point. Like, you know, sure. I don't know if the Muslims are gonna like this one. So he's saying Islam has failed the Muslims. How true is this? Said their religion failed them. If you're a Muslim watching this, what do you think about this video? I'd love to hear from your own point of view. What are your thoughts on this one? Um, and if you are a Christian watching this, what do you think as well? What do you think about what Douglas Morris said? I would love to know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video. If you're new to the channel, join Vera CT. Hit the subscribe button below to know the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye, guys.